Hey guys, the architect here. So today I'm gonna make a video for those new players um, to help them out on giving them some tips how to uh, get the hang of the game, how to start uh, with the with the right foot. So um, first things first, the first thing you should know is that although this game has a ton of characters, you should focus on a team of four. Now I have every character in the game. I wish I have known that I needed to focus on just a team of four. Because there's going to be a moment in the game where the resources to level them up are going to be very limited. You're going to only be able to do a, a small uh, progress per day. So you should focus on four characters. And uh, those characters should, should have the following. You should have one or two DPS. This is my current composition. You should have one or two DPS. For it cannot be changed. And you should have a healer. And you should have the the fourth character is optional. It can be whatever you want. So just make sure that you are able to do the most. You get the most out of your composition. So remember, this game does a lot of uh, has to do a lot with elemental reactions. So for example, a character like Diluc is super good against ice, but it's weak against fire mages, for example, because it's very difficult to break fire mages shield with Diluc. Um, well, on the other hand, Mona or Barbara, they're very good against them because they can easily break their shields and so on. So you, you just keep that in mind when you select the characters you're gonna, you want to level up. Um, uh, from level 1 to 20, uh, it doesn't really matter. You just use whatever you want. You just experiment a little bit. But after that, you should already know how do you want to move forward All right, and focus on that until you l reach level 90 with them. Because if you start doing what I did, and you start just leveling and leveling characters, you're going to get stuck at some point. You should focus on, on just four characters. All right? uh, and maybe perhaps a fifth character, if uh, you're having a hard time with the current four, because there's a lot of elementary reactions that you need to consider. Another thing that you need to, uh, to understand is that I know there's a tier list. Everyone talks about a tier list, etc. Yeah, there are some characters that are better than others, all right? But... All characters are viable. I mean, you can complete the game even with the free characters, even with the ones that, that don't require a gacha, like Amber and uh, yeah, this guy, and Lisa. All of them are viable. It's just that you're going to have a harder time finishing the game with them, but they're all viable. I know people who are um, literally at the abyss, like the top floors, and they're using Amber and Noel, which are super underrated characters. But they are viable. It's just that it's harder to... To finish the game with with them all right uh so don't don't worry about that all characters are viable just make sure that you have two dps in your team a main dps and a sub dps a healer which is very important it can be varbara if you started playing um uh, like when, when the game started you're gonna get barbara for free or, or you got barbara for free when you reach level 20th of adventure rank I believe um, everyone gets Noel for free. You can just roll the beginner's banner with the gems that the game gives to you when you start, and you're gonna get this. So this is like a everyone should be able to to get Noel. All right, she is a healer. She can work as a healer. She's not the best healer unless you really know how to use her. Because I know people who really do insane things with Noel, but most people don't know how to use them, and she doesn't really shine until the end of the game. But she's actually viable. Um, if you have Barbara, it's even better. If you have Chi Chi, that's great. I know most people won't be able to get her because she's a five star and requires a lot of luck um, or money spent. And uh, also, if you have uh, Jean, she's also viable. But yeah, those are pretty much the healers uh, so far. So you should have that on your team. Now another thing that I do recommend is to get this. I know that some people are unable to spend money in the game, but if you can, then buy this. Because it gives you, this is the best deal you can get in the game. I mean, if you purchase this, which is just $5, I mean, this gives you 90 gems per day. Every day for, thir for uh, 30 days. They, they stuck up. So if you're going to play this game for a long time, I recommend you to, to buy this. 
because you are going to get a lot of gems. So actually, if you do the math, in in three months of, of actually collecting this, you're gonna get pretty much as much uh, gem, as many gems as you would do purchasing this ninety nine dollar pack. It's just that you're gonna have to wait a lot, but you're gonna get a lot of gems. So I do recommend you to buy this package if you are gonna spend something on this game. Another thing I do recommend getting is to purchase the battle pass, but only if you are actually gonna get at least level thirty. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. At level 30, you get uh, some free weapons. You can select from one of these. Uh, I strongly recommend the sword. Because it... it, 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 it I, I personally believe that you get the most from it. Because it actually heals you. And uh, a, lot, a lot of characters in the game actually use... Um, Sword, so this is a this is a d decent weapon. I don't really use it because I actually have better weapons than that already, but I do recommend that. Especially if you're playing on a budget, you should get that. I actually have that sword, it's just that I don't use it. Um, so, guys, another thing I recommend is do not purchase the battle pass if you are like two or three days away or just a couple of days away from uh, the next battle pass. So right now, as I'm doing this video, there's... Uh, over 16 days late left if you're gonna if you're just looking at the battle pass and there's just like five days until it finishes don't even think about it because you're probably not gonna make it in time uh, I already completed it but again uh, if you are like five days away or something don't don't even purchase the battle pass because you're not gonna get the most of it all right, unless you really want to like spend your money just to get a few uh, rewards extra rewards then that that's up to you Now another thing is I recommend everyone to look at the interactive map So you can this is super useful especially in the late game Because it, it tells you where to get a bunch of things so you can you don't have to look at for them manually You see there's a lot of hidden chests and things in the map. You're gonna need to get geoculus and animoculus uh, to complete, uh, uh, to get more stamina, because in this game, when you run and you swim, you uh, your stamina de depletes. So you're gonna need to collect those things, and also because there's a, a reward when you do so. There's there's other rewards and such. So there's a lot of use uh, use cases that where you're gonna need to use this. That also resources that you're gonna need to collect to level up your characters. So this is super important now to get this all you got to do is type on google genshin impact interactive world map and uh, yeah that's pretty much it very self-explanatory now another thing i do recommend is uh do the weekly bosses always there shouldn't be a week where you don't do the weekly bosses as soon as you unlock them you should always be doing them Right. If you can't, you, you can try to get help from someone. You can join one of the many discords. You can actually join our Discord. It's in the description of this video. Uh, but you should do this bosses weekly, always, because there is a, even at low levels, there's a high chance that they give you uh, five star items. So they are very good. You should focus on this. Another thing that I would recommend is that unless you are adventure rank forty, don't waste time grinding uh, this dungeons don't don't waste time on them because before re re adventure rank 40 you're most of the time gonna get three stars or four star items very rarely you're gonna get four or four star items so I recommend you don't waste time on this instead you should focus on doing uh, the the word the L the elite bosses why because they're gonna give you uh, artifacts anyway and those artifacts are generic and they work for most of the characters. So for instance, I got this um, artifacts. The gladiator, you can actually only get the gladiator uh, artifacts from the gladiator set from world bosses, not from domains. And you need to do those bosses anyway. So you, do, you don't lose anything because you, you need to do those bosses because you need to grind materials to, um, to level up your character. To, pro to progress in the game anyway so you, because you got to do those bosses anyway 
you should focus you should get most of your artifacts from the world bosses all right don't waste time grinding <clears throat> don't waste time grinding domains until you're at bench rank 40 that's my recommendation also don't waste a lot of time raising talents because they're not really that important i mean talents are important but i would say like an end game when you have spare like once you reach level like 90 and you have spare uh, talents I mean you sorry you have spare uh, resin because you literally have nothing else to spend it with but must to refine your character so once you once you get to level 90 then yeah go ahead and level them up as much as you can but you see you don't get a ton out of talents and especially the, the talent so for example here regeneration a hit so it's 12 percent to 30 percent 13 percent all right just there's, there's only like one percent increase so it's not really a whole lot, a whole lot and you need to spend some resin to, to get this so don't don't you can level them up a little bit but they're not super necessary like this is I, I would say that out of all the the um, out of all the domains the uh, talents domains you're they're actually giving you the least amount of advantages for your resin you you should spend things that actually give you a better boost like stat increase so i would recommend to actually do the world bosses because you're gonna get some items uh, and you can even get even if you get artifacts that are not useful perhaps in that because everything in this game is a gotcha even even when you do bosses there's a chance you're gonna get stuff that you're not gonna use but you can you can use them as father uh, as materials to increase the artifacts that you actually need so you should be doing that uh, so don't waste too much time on on, uh, on uh, talents don't waste time on artifacts uh, domains until your your adventure rank 40 you should really bring the Knights of Pavonia and uh, yeah guys that's pretty much it you should try to reach adventure rank 45 as soon as possible Next time. without uh, hurting yourself I mean you should be able to have like a decent gear to at least kill boss uh, mobs easily before you upgrade all right um, but yeah your your priority should be to get your first four characters to level 90 which is the level cap to get four weapons to the level cap and once you have that then it's going to be a lot easier for you to level all the other characters in the future because the the more you level up the more your resin is going to last let me explain why you see in other gadgets in other games you, when you increase your level you increase the amount of resin you can get per day in in Genshin Impact that's not the case it's static what what you do get is better rewards for your resin so for instance at world level one you're gonna get very few books I am at world level five right now so I get more books if I was at world level seven which is currently the world cap the world level cap then I would get better rewards than this so you see when you uh, when you increase your world level it would become easier for you to level alts to level other characters so first focus on four keep with those even just resist the temptation of leveling other stuff don't worry too much about the abyss I mean the abyss is not going anywhere you're gonna you're gonna level up sooner or later and you're gonna get all the rewards anyway so so don't rush it you don't need to rush it all right you're gonna get all the rewards sooner or later uh, it's not going anywhere um, and it's gonna become easier for you so try to reach that level cap all right and yeah guys that's it for today uh, if you like this video feel free to subscribe you can also join us on discord and uh, uh, on our social media uh, the links are on the video description so until next time bye <laughs>